Okay, so in this video, we'll be going through iterators. Iterators, they are very helpful if you want to understand someone's code or if you want to code yourself, obviously. Uh, so I'm going to be going through vectors, vector of pairs, and maybe an array of uh, vector of pairs. So uh, first, let's get started with the vectors. So in case of this vector, I want to iterate through this vector and print values. So we have a vector, I've declared it over here, and I have an iterator. So what is an iterator? It is basically, you can think of it as a pointer, but it's not exactly a pointer. It's going to iterate over these uh, over these values and you can do whatever you want with it. So I'm not going to focus on the theory of iterators, but more on the code of how the code works. So whenever you see code which uses iterators, you'll be able to understand it very easily. So uh, we'll start with making the iterator point to v dot begin. So this is my vector v and it's now going to point to v dot begin. So v dot begin is going to be the first element of my vector v. Okay, so now that it's pointing to the first element and we also have uh, v dot end. v dot end is basically going to point after this vector. So it's going to be like uh, we have completed traversing this vector as you'll see in the code, uh, which I'm going to get to in the end. But now basically I want to print. I want to print what is at this position of the vector. So if I do C out it, because I know it is pointing to v dot begin, which is four right now. And if I do C out it, I'm going to get an error because I'm just printing it, which is a pointer, which is uh, not going to have the value which it's pointing to. So if I want to get the value which the iterator is pointing to, I have to dereference the iterator with this symbol. The star symbol is going to dereference the iterator. And once I do this, this is going to give me four right now. And then I can do uh, it plus plus, and then the iterator will move to five and then it's going to dereference again. If I use a for loop, of course, it's going to dereference and then I'm going to get five and then I'm going to get six and then I'm going to get seven. And that's how I'm going to iterate over my vector using the help of these iterators. Okay, so we have our vector of pairs over here. And the one more thing I want to mention is we can use this iterator even inside an array. Of course, we can do any arithmetic operation we want. Now that you have dereferenced this variable, we can do something like this. Over here, I'm talking about this part. Uh, we can use this dereferenced value inside of an array. And if you're at the beginning, then uh, it's going to be a of four. That's going to be the value it's going to have initially. And then it's going to become a of five and a of six. You can use this any way you want after dereferencing it. Uh, so now coming back to this vector of pairs, I have a vector of pair. And uh, it's going to be something like uh, this because it's going to be iterating over a vector of pairs. And let's say we have a pair of one comma two. This is a bracket right here something else four comma five and I want to print or I want to perform some operations on this uh, vector of pairs. So once again, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, I've declared it over here. So now that, now that I've declared it, um, I can say it is going to be equal to vector of pairs dot begin. So now this is pointing to the first position right here, right? It's pointing the first position. But how am I going to be able to access one and two? So this is a pair. Now, because that's a pair, I can declare a pair of integers. And then let's say I have a temp. So this is going to be a pair. And this temp is going to store the dereferenced value of the iterator. See, because the iterator is of type, type pair, int, int, it's pointing to the pair. And then I'm, I'm declaring a temporary variable, which is of type, type pair. And then in that temporary variable, I'm storing the dereferenced value of it. Right. So now with the help of temp, I can do temp dot first to get the number one. And then I can do temp dot second to get the number two. And then I can do it plus plus and so on. I'm going to move here and then I can get uh, four. I'm going to get five and you can use this in uh, any operation you want, you can print it out, you can use it inside any arithmetic operation. And that's how you're going to be able to uh, go through a vector of pairs using iterators. Now let's quickly jump into some code for the vectors and the vector of pairs. First, first let's go through the vectors, uh, declaring the vector, pushing one, two, three, four into the vector. And then now I'm having an iterator, which is going to be of type vector of int. Initially it's starting at v dot begin. It's going to go as long as it's not v dot end, it plus plus. And I print it, I'm going to dereference it, and then I'm going to print it. 
So when I run this, it will give me one, two, three, four. And this is one way of doing it. Okay, now we have this uh, new kind of a syntax where we can go through this vector in a more easier way. So uh, let's say this same vector, I'm going to go through it. And I'm saying auto x in v for each x in v and I'm going to print x. So what this does is, first of all, you can see that I don't use a star. So it's going to dereference it for me by default. It's going to dereference it and give it to me. I don't have to use a star or anything. And it's also going to identify what type of container this V is. It's a, it's a vector. So it identified that it's a vector and it's treating it as a vector and it's going to print it out just like that with the simple syntax. And this is also another way of printing out a vector. You can just use the normal standard index style. Okay, now we're going to jump to vector of pairs. So once again, I have a vector of pairs declared right here. I'm pushing back a pair into the vector, just as we uh, did here. These pairs, I'm just pushing it back into the vector. For example, it's a different number, obviously. I've pushed it back, and now I have an iterator, and that iterator is going to iterate over this kind, this container. That's a vector of pair of int of int. And initially, I'm going to say it's equal to vp.begin, vector of pairs.begin. Once again, this right here is going to start, or it's going to start there. Uh, and then I declared a pair of int temp, the same thing which I um, showed over here, pair of temp. And then when I dereference it, the iterator is going to give me this uh, entire this entire block right here. So now that's going to be stored inside temp. And then I'm going to do temp.first and temp.second. I'm going to get the answer. These answers, they're just going to be printed out. And another way of doing it is a more simple way. So instead of declaring a pair and then dereferencing it, putting it inside temp, you can do it without even declaring this extra pair over here. So I dereferenced the iterator. Now it's become in the type of a pair because I've already declared it as a pair over here. It knows that it's going to be in the form uh, of a pair. And then I'm going to take the first and then I'm going to do the same thing over here. This is basically dereferencing and then I'm going to just put push out the second. So I don't need to have these extra lines over here. And of course, to make it uh, a different style of a syntax. Basically, instead of doing this, we can use an arrow, which which actually means means the same thing. It's it's also stands for dereferencing. So basically, this is also dereferencing, and using the arrow is also dereferencing, which is happening. So both of these, all of these will produce the same result. Okay, and now uh, let me just uh, okay let, let's go through this one first. The the same thing which we saw in vectors auto, and then we have some variable. This can also be x, and for each of those in a vector of pairs, it identifies that it's a vector of pair. And then uh, this already does the dereferencing for you. So you don't have to do an arrow. You don't have to do a star to dereference it. It's going to be dereferencing it for you uh, already. It makes it easier, of course. So I'm just going to do uh, x. You can call this x or itr dot first, itr dot second. It will give you the same result. It's going to print uh, this. It's going to print this. And then it's going to do, uh, it's going to go to the next. It's going to do an itr plus plus. And it's going to go on until it reaches the end. And if you see this part of code which I've commented, this is going to give me an error. It's going to give me an error because this is going to dereference it by default. And if I dereference it again, it's going to give me an error. So these are the small things which you have to keep in mind while uh, writing code. Uh, next, I'm going to go through uh, the map. Okay, so the map is basically very similar. You can uh, pause the video and you can. Uh, uh, have a look at it. The fact is that the Mac map is exposed as a pair, so the code is pretty similar. Uh, you can just have a look at it and see. It's just that I'm using mp.begin, uh, I'm using the map uh, instead of the vector of pairs over here. It's almost absolutely similar. And now this is the uh, code for Dijkstra's algorithm. I'm not going to go through the uh, concept of how it works, but just look at the code and let's see what we can understand. Uh, we have vector of pair of int, which is actually an array, an array of vector of pairs. So uh, let me draw that out for you very, very quickly. We have, uh, let's say we have a graph or something going on. And this is 5, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3. So uh, these are going to be my nodes, let's be 4. These are my nodes 1, 2, 3 and 4. This shows that for one is connected to two. Um, let's have some five over here. Uh, yeah, five over here. One is connected to two, one is connected to five as well. Uh, one is connected to four as well. And then we have two connected to three. We have two connected to one. And then we have four connected to one. We have four connected to three. We have three connected to two and four. 
and then we have five connected to one uh, bit name is something okay fine uh, either way this is an array of vectors and now if I give this some weight let's say this is of uh, distance six and this is distance five this is distance one this is distance two and this is distance three what I'm going to do is instead of just storing two this line right here right instead of just storing uh, one is connected to two I'm going to say one is connected to two with a weight of one with a distance of one and one is connected to four with a distance of six so it's going to be like a pair so that's what this represents adj of one is going to be this right here adj of one is this and if i do adj of one dot begin it's referring to this if i if i do adj of two dot begin it's referring to this okay Uh, for each u so when you get an input you're going to get the input as these edges and as you get these edges in you're just going to fill these values you're going to get the weight and then you're going to get the other edge so it's going to become like this in the end that's all you need to know and then you're going to make make a pair and you're going to push it back into each individual uh, u so u is going to be one two three four if these are the vertices which are given as input uh, and then uh, Okay, this is fine. This is fine. And then once again, we have a set. So we have a set of pair of int int my set right here. And inside that set, I'm going to insert uh, insert a pair of zero and src. So if I have a set like this, and that set has something some value like one and seven, let that be one and seven, uh, for example. Once again, I'm saying that pair of int of int of temp because uh, I know that. When I dereference my set dot begin, because this is also going to be an iterator pointing to the beginning of the set, so it's pointing right here. I'm dereferencing it with the help of a star, and I'm putting it inside temp. Right. So whenever you see code like this, you're going to be able to understand it, and that's the advantage of knowing how iterators work. And now you can use temp as a very wish because you have dereferenced it right here. And similarly, you have a vector of pair of and you have an iterator i, and i is equal to adj of u dot begin. So you're having a for loop for each and every single uh, adj of whatever value is here. You're having you're going through basically, you're basically going through each of these values one by one, and for each of these values adj of u whatever that value is, you're going from this begin, which is this one here, all the way till this ending here. You're gonna start from this, and then you're gonna go till this end. You're gonna start here. You're gonna go all the way to the end. Of course, this is a pair. Uh, I've not drawn it out, but you're gonna start from here. That's what this dot begin represents. It's going to go all the way till this ends right here. And on each of these, you can perform the dereferencing. Uh, v is going to be an i. i is, of course, going to be pointing to something like, uh, of course, it's very clumsy, but let's say we have 2, comma 1 stored over here. i is going to be pointing to this. So if I dereference that i and then get its first, I'm going to be able to access this value. And to get that weight, which is what I stored here. I stored the distance, right? I stored this distance. If I want to access that, I can just do uh, dereference it and put a dot second. So that's uh, basically the importance of iterators. That's how they work. And so hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe uh, and like the video, of course. And if you have any questions, do leave it in the comment box below. And yeah, see you in the next video.